All right, hold on to your screens, because I'm about to shatter some digital minds here. Picture this, a bizarre era when us, the sophisticated homo sapiens, didn't thumb war our phones, but used all our digits on machines that, get this, had zero need for chargers. Mm-hmm. Absorb that shocker. And oh, we jam buttons to imprint this ancient tablet called paper. But let's not spiral into that culture shock. We got to keep our cool for the journey ahead. Rewind to the typewriter's grand entrance in the good old 1800s. Hit me up with that brand. Boom. It's a Scholes and Glidden baby crafted by the visionary Christopher Scholes. This Milwaukee-based printer didn't just count pages. He revolutionized writing after his buddy, Carlos Glidden, threw a magazine article his way. Inspiration level? Legendary. But this typographical marvel didn't waltz into frame. Nope. Imagine a hunk of metal sturdy enough for a Hulk smash, yet delicate as a poet's heart. Crafting these paradoxical beauties? A Herculean feat pre-1874. Plus, they had to endure the tempest of enraged journalists on a deadline. Bang! Talk about endurance. Now, ninja move your glance to your modern keyboard. Spot any similarities with this great granddaddy from the 19th century? Yep. Scholes and Glidden weren't just inventors. They were psychic designers. That QWERTY layout had one mission. Prevent mechanical meltdowns and letter brawls inside its intricate guts. Fast forward to the late 1800s and boom! Typewriters didn't just alter communication, they shook up societal norms. Now, picture this. Women transitioned from textile mills to typing queens by 1910, dominating the typist throne. Oh, and amidst the clickety-clack saga, a quest for zen emerged. The no-din typewriter. A silent knight in shiny armor. A quiet revolution in a world of noise. And nope, 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 no din wasn't Sun Hipster's name. It was a clever wordplay promising peace. All we did in the sci-fi-esque electric typewriter era was plug power into them, which made them smaller, lighter, and faster. You see, there's something poetic here, bridging past and present, making me go, writing? Well, but typing? Oh, yeah, that's pure magic. Magic.